Hello everyone, it is Tom Jurassic back here on Jurassic Collectibles today and today I'm very excited to share that we have been sent a parcel from the man himself, Jurassic Collectibles. He is very busy at the moment but he wanted to send me this figure, believe it's a figure, to review for you guys. So we are going to crack this box open, we are going to take a look at what our good friends at Everything Dinosaur have sent us and we are going to do a review on this item. So without any further ado guys, let's get this thing open. You can find the item featured in today's review and more at everythingdinosaur.com. Check out their site today. Okay, so I've got my trusty scissors. So let's see, let's go in here. Oh, I almost cut my hand then. That would have not been great viewing for you guys go in there see if we can I reckon we can get straight in through there we will cut that open cool right okay whatever it is looks very well packaged in here we will just Cut this open a little bit more. There we go. That is quite nicely done. I'm going to bring the camera up a little bit. And angle you down so you can see it as I open it. Right. So. We have got a lot of bubble wrap in here. And then we have got the item in question. Whoa. Okay, so you can see that the item we have been sent is by Eofauna. It is, if we zoom in and get this thing open, it is. Whoa, this is cool. So it is the Eofauna Dino Theorem. So this is kind of an old style, um, I want to say elephant type creature with tusks. As you can see here, has comes with this really nice cardboard insert to keep the legs from warping in on each other. And when we move them out the way, you can see the Dino Therium stood right there. Looks absolutely fantastic out of the box, has got a really, really nice stance. It's walking forwards. You can see the legs are posed in a way where they look like they're moving forwards. And straight off the bat, uh, JC has also sent me something to compare this dinosaur to, which is another Eofauna product. Um, I say dinosaur, obviously I should say creature, because this isn't a dinosaur. But JC has sent me the Giganotosaurus, or Giganotosaurus, that he reviewed recently to compare it to. And you can see just that sense of scale next to each other. This is a very muscular, very, very bulky creature, which looks absolutely fantastic. So we will do a proper comparison later on. Um, what we're going to do now is clear the review table and take a closer look at the Dino Therium. Okay, so as you may or may not know, a big part of Eofauna's license is creating products which feel authentic scientifically. So they're based on 3D renders of fossils which have been recovered. If you check out JC's review of the Giganotosaurus, you'll be able to see some of that. But you can see this fantastic figure does come with, if we zoom in on it, a beautiful fax card. So I don't really want to take this out the packaging, but if we just slide it off, maybe we can get the string to come off. We will just bring that down. Is that as far down as we get it? I think that's as far down as we'll go, so we'll leave it on. But you can see the Dinotherium's fact card here. If we get that in focus. So 12,000 kilograms, 34 kilometers an hour. 59% attack, 70% defense, I assume. 
31% brain power. And like with the other cards, EO Fauna's lovely logo on the back here. If we just get this in focus for you guys, you can see beautiful yellows and greens there. And we do also have the logo here, which says EO Fauna Scientific Research, Dinotherium Gigantum. So it's 135th scale. Several of this type of creature have been uncovered, but Eoforum are going with the Gigantum family for this particular rendition of the creature. So we do have some scientific facts which are kindly provided by Everything Dinosaur, um, and they are as follows. So the Dinotherium was a member of the elephant family, but it is not closely related to modern elephants or mammoths. It is likely that the ancestors of Dinotherium diverged from other forms of primitive elephants very early in the evolutionary history of the group. It would have had relatively long legs and a long, low skull rather than the dome skull of more modern elephants. In terms of what this animal would have eaten, it would have had a herbivorous diet and it would have eaten fruit, leaves and bark. In terms of this creature's size, it was massive with a length of up to 7 metres and a height at its shoulder of up to 4.5 metres. Now it would have weighed approximately 11 tonnes, although males would have been larger than females. It lived during the Miocene to Middle Paleocene period, or Pleocene, sorry, which was 20 million years ago to 2.5 million years ago. So a lot, lot closer than other dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures that we're used to. Um, I believe this is a similar period of time to things like the giant Irish elk, which is at Crystal Palace. And this creature would have lived in Europe, Africa and Asia, in particular in India and Pakistan. So, the Dinotherium genius was established in the mid-19th century. However, many fossils had been found in early Paleocene age deposits in Western Germany and added to the natural history collection of the Hesian State Museum in the nearby town of Darmstadt. The first species of Dinotherium was scientifically named and described in 1829 by the German naturalist Johann um, Jacob Kalp. Unfortunately, when Kalp prepared a reconstruction of the complete fossil for a museum exhibit, he first posed the tusks of the lower jaw pointing upwards. With the discovery of a complete skull in 1836, this initial mistake was corrected. So a creature which we have seen fossils of for a very, very long time. So obviously, as you can see, the figure itself, beautiful colour schemes and beautiful texture. You can see absolutely all of the musculature across the body and all of the little details on this creature which really, really do make it stand out. I particularly love how if we get the face in focus, the tusk of the character curves around here. That looks really nice. But you have a lot of detail, a lot of texture, and a lot of ridges here, which really help to make this creature come to life and feel alive. There's some fantastic detail all across this model. It looks really, really fantastic. Everything really does come together here to pack it full of detail. And obviously, as I was saying, we do have the Giganotosaurus. So if we were to compare the two, if we get that in shot over there, just get that in focus. Then we can bring the Giga back in. And you can see that these two compared to each other are fantastic. These are really, really detailed models offered by Eofauna and together the two of them look great. You can see things like the colour and the scale, very, very similar, and both look fantastic together. Really, really great attention to details on both of these models. So this is a fantastic product. I'm really, really grateful that I got to take a look at it. And if you would like to get your hands on your very own Eofauna, uh, obviously Dinotherium product, then we will have a link for that in the description. Thanks again to Everything Dinosaur for sending this over and for letting us take a look at it. And guys, as always, stay tuned here on Jurassic Collectibles for more reviews in the near future. 
Now you've seen it reviewed, why not pick up your own at everythingdinosaur.com? Link is in the description.